G'day, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. The other day I was doing a demonstration with hand planes and somebody asked a question, I've got a jointer, do I need a hand plane? And the answer is yes, because what you'll find with, whether it's a thickness or a jointer or a planer, they will leave machining marks behind and it's the hand plane that gets rid of those machines. I'll give you a demonstration. I put this piece of Chilean myrtle through the jointer and to bring that up, I'll run a pencil over it and you can see the undulations that the knives have made. So in order to get that off, the best way is with a hand plane. And you'll see it when I plane it off. I'm going to use a number seven, which is a, um, a joining plane or a triplane, and I sometimes call it a shooting plane. Now, if you look at that shaving, see all the bumpy bits in it? That's all caused through the machining marks from the jointer. And when you come to put a finish on it, you might not be able to see it too well with the naked eye, but when you put a finish on it, it's going to pop. So now I'll take another cut, but it'll be a clean cut, and we'll have a look at the difference. That's nice and flat, as opposed to crinkly on this side. Beautiful thing is, when that's been done, you can then put a finish on it and it'll look beautiful. You won't have those ripples effects. So in answer to your question, yes, you do need a plane. And the same holds true if you've put timber through a planer or a thicknesser. You're going to have those machine marks there. So the same, same, it's good to learn how to use a hand plane. So if you get a smoothing plane, in this case, this is an H&T Gordon smoothing plane, but a Stanley Bailey would work just as fine. You can actually see the machining marks coming off of there. Now, they were barely visible to the human eye. But I can guarantee once you put a finish on, they will definitely show up. And they're not thick, thick shavings. But that is... So nice and also has a sheen on it, which the hand plane does. So yes, even if you're a mechanised shed, still worthwhile learning how to use hand planes because they can get you out of all sorts of trouble and also in a lot of cases it's quicker than going out to the machine shop, starting up with a machine and then you've got to come back and still use a hand plane to get it finished. So bear that in mind, hand planes are still a very intricate part of the workshop. Oh, that's it. Steve pulling the shed door down and saying, remember to keep it sharp. But more importantly, keep it safe, look after yourself, and I look forward to having you in the workshop again very, very soon. Bye for now.